Hi there once again. Uh, last time I spoke about uh, work experience and internships and how to really maximise your opportunities once you leave university as well as whilst you're studying. This time I'm going to talk about something that we can all do um, whilst we're waiting around for internships, whilst we're waiting around for that dream job or, like me, for our masters. Um, and it's really about how we can use online social networking, um, internet sites, and various other forms of social networks to really maximise our employment opportunities as well as getting more experience and to build up our portfolios for the more creative industries that we want to go into. Um, from my perspective, I write for a number of various publications online at the moment. Um, I want to go into broadcast journalism as a specialist um, industry. Um, but writing for online publications shows employers that I'm serious about journalism, um, that it's not just about the video side and the radio side, but really about journalism as a whole. Um, I've set myself up alerts from different news wires, um, press release agencies, so that I can follow up leads, um, so that I can contact people for interviews and write up press releases and really maximise the opportunities that they give uh, for journalists and especially freelance journalists um, in the industry. So that's what I've done, that's what I do at the moment, but what can everyone else do? Well, there are a number of ways of maximising yourself and really enhancing, I think, your employment um, opportunities. Get out there online. Social networks are a key way. Twitter, Facebook, um, LinkedIn is a really good professional site. I get a lot of job opportunities from there sent through to my email. Um, create your profiles. Show that you're serious. Create a professional profile on Facebook. Create a professional profile on Twitter um, so that employees can contact you. Um, follow all the leading names in the industry that you want to go into as well as all the smaller names and the smaller businesses. Set up your own blog um, or your own website. A really, really fantastic way of showing your skills and also to show that you're serious about the industry you want to go into. Uh, setting up your own website or your own blog uh, can really show employers that you are serious. Rather than just sitting around and applying for job after job, you can show that you're developing in the industry that you want to go into. You're using that as a platform to show the skills you've already got. It can enhance your skills as well and it can keep your brain working in that industry even if you've not found work yet within the industry you want to go into. Um, really beneficial. I think, to do that kind of thing. Um, in my kind of industry, the media industry, in broadcasting, it's especially important to get yourself out there through amateur blogs, um, through amateur websites, videos. I've got a YouTube account um, that I put my videos on. I obviously do these videos. Um, using my skills already that I've already got and trying to enhance my skills further. All of this I can show to employers. I can link them from my CV. <clears throat> to my video site or to YouTube or to your blog and you can put those links on and people will look. Employers will want to see what you've been doing um, rather than just stating you've been at university for three years. What else have you done to show that you're serious about the industry you want to go into? So online you've got the added bonus of employees being able to click on links so you can add links in there to personal websites as well as professional websites and profiles to show that you're serious about your industry. Um, it really maximises um, the internet use, really, and it maximises your opportunities to get yourself out there. That's what it's about, really. The internet really provides a really key way for all of us to get ourselves out there. Um, I know everyone bangs on about the internet. Everyone bangs on about social networking. It can be negative, but for employment opportunities... And for the job market, market it is, as it is at the minute, and for graduates, I think it's a really important tool to use. Um, just, just even setting up your own blog, not even doing what I do, writing for different publications, but setting up your own blog, it, it's, it's a stepping stone to show employers that you're serious about the industry that you're going to go into. And that's what you need to do. You need to show that you've got the de determination and the passion that's what employers want to look for, and not just the degree on paper. That helps. That is a good thing to get your degree in the industry and the field that you want to go into. It, it's good that you've studied that subject area. Um, but then it's important to get your outside work done as well, like I said, through internships and work experience, as well as 
on the side, um, maybe have a part-time job or a full-time job on the side of that, doing what you really want to um, do as a career. Do it on the side, show employers that you're really serious about it. Um, some of the different publications that I write for, um, they're all online magazines. So I write for News In, I write for The Daily Opinion, The Daily Online, Hammer and Quill. Um, I also have a Twitter that I follow various media companies, various news industry professionals and um, journalism um, websites to get the latest job news in my industry. Also, um, I also have a YouTube account to put my videos on um, so I can link that back as well. And <clears throat> it's, it's important because it shows employers that you are serious about the industry and I also do my own news reports on various topics that are covered in the news. I do them my way. All I have is a digital camera that I'm filming this on right now and just a editing suite on my uh, laptop. Um, simple enough. It takes me half an hour of my day to bang a news report together. If I do that once a week and show employers that I'm serious, I've got the skills there to show. My skills are there that um, they should employ me and I should be employed for the job that I'm applying for. So I guess what I'm saying is it's important to get internships and work experience but don't spend all of your time chasing those leads. Please set up your own accounts, please set up your social networks and get your face known that way as well because in the long run it's going to be better for you because social networking is just going to continue to grow and grow which means that we need to keep up with the trend rather than be left behind.